Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA dropped so much content yesterday on FC24, it's hard to keep track of all of it. But we're going to break it down today because EA might have just saved Team of the Season with what we got yesterday. And of course, there's a lot of big names coming today for a new Mixed League Team of the Season, Team 4, that is going to be coming out today. So we're going to look ahead to that and also... What is the best way to be crafting and grinding the menus right now with all this new content? Let's get talking about it, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Guys, we had eight SBCs yesterday. That is just crazy in its own right. A Saturday of Team of the Season with eight SBCs. Let's start from the top with the players right we had yaya toure there were no leaks about this at least that i saw maybe i missed it but yaya toure just randomly be dropped as an sbc for his best card that is right here in the game this is a w price if you want yaya toure if it's like behind the curve for you and you don't care for it that's fine but if you just want a version of yaya i don't think i've used yaya for the past couple of games to be honest fifa games right so i'm interested in this card uh and in crafting him and trying him out the price of this sbc is decent because before he was leaked and even released as an SBC, I guess he wasn't leaked, right? As we said, he was 670,000 coins still for the best version of Yaya on this game. He's of course dropped down to now below what the SBC value is, but I think that's just because he is good value, right? This is a 700k almost card. He's now 515,000 coins for one of the biggest heroes in the game. Now it's an SBC. So again, still maybe a little behind the curve for those of us that just love three playstyle pluses, right? I think his stats are well enough though. And of course, he's just an iconic, basically an iconic hero, right? Not an icon, but an iconic hero in this game. And definitely worth the craft if you want yourself a Yaya Toure. Now, yesterday we had two showdown SBCs, of course, for the UWCL Champions League final match that is coming up soon. We've got Ligon represented by Marozin. This card, guys, if I have to pick one to root for for FIFA purposes only, since I have no ties to this game for the teams, really... I'm kind of rooting for this card right here because the links to Basha, who I've packed, links to Diani as well. Dead Ball Plus, incisive and technical. Center attacking mid 5-7 with 5-star skills, 4-star weak foot. With a plus 2, right? Whoever wins the Champions League on the women's side here, plus 2 overall to the rating. This card could go crazy as a 95. And again, you go to plus 2 to every single one of the statistics. The 94 dribbling is nuts. The agility and balance is a little low. And the reactions for 94 dribbling. But a really, really good card here. This one looks pretty fun. Her SBC is coming in at 150,000 coins. Points. And you also have Irene Paredes fits in very well right now if you want some Liga F links. She's 5'10". So, I mean, this is like her first special card of the whole entire year, but we've packed her 88 rated version so many times. I'm sure a lot of you guys have. Um, I would, I'm interested in at least doing this SBC to maybe try her card out. Um, really good defending, really solid physical stats, good passing stats as well for a center back. Lacking a couple of play styles though. The two most important in my opinion, intercept and anticipate not there on her card. Her SBC is coming in at 200,000 coins, three different squads there. And uh, you know, if this isn't one that you're super interested in, that's totally fine. But it is a live and upgrading showdown for 93 rated cards. Going to go up to a 95 rated at some point when that UWCL final takes place and afterwards with the upgrade. So that's that. And then we had the Kubo, right? We talked about the Kubo leak and he was cheap, guys. We said that we needed this Kubo to be cheap. He can play a whole lot of positions. He can play on the right side, center attacking mid and striker. Didn't get the 5-5, five five, unfortunately, and he has medium, medium work rates. But people love a good cheap Kubo card. He's got the 5-star weak foot, which is nice. He does have really good dribbling. Like, look at those dribbling stats. They are nice, again, apart from composure. But with a card being this cheap, you know, he's going to have some flaws, right? Only 70,000 coins for this SBC, but technical ping pass and power shot. Very overpowered playstyle pluses, and he's got all but one ball control playstyle. So his dribbling is going to be absolutely mint. His left stick dribbling is going to be crazy. So it's a fun, cheap Kubo SBC to do. Unfortunately, he's 92 rated, so you can't put him in the cup. But that is that is nice, right? That SBC, and of course, Yaya yesterday. The player SBCs were good, but really what made things go crazy was the upgrade packs, guys. I can't believe we had all these upgrade packs yesterday. It's crazy. Let's start off with one of them. Let's go with the 86 double. We'll talk about this first. 8310 goes away. 
86 double comes to replace it. No team of the week requirement this time or team of the season. It's an 83 rated squad and an 84 rated squad with two 85s required in that latter 84 squad. So it's okay value, right? I mean, I wasn't a fan of this pack the first time that it came back around because it just doesn't give you a lot of players. But with the other upgrade packs that we have right now, this feels like maybe a little bit better of a chance of packing a team in the season. Although the 86 doubles when they came out last time were not weighted very heavy. I think it is worth crafting each and every day. It's one of those SBCs to put on the list to get done every single day when you're crafting the menus for the chance, for the what if, for the fodder at the very least. You're not getting back the value of this, what you put in, because 86s right now are like, what, 4,000 coins, and this is a 20k SBC, but you're not chasing the value back on this. You're chasing the chance at high rated cards, which could go into an exchange very easily to get you more players back, or of course, seeing team of the season. And this is just one of those SBCs that is making a tots grind right now. It has just gone from like decent to insane in the blink of an eye with all these SBCs. Here's another one, the 82 times five La Liga upgrade, right? Is it the most worth it SBC? No, you've got an 84 and 85 rated squad with the tots or team of the week required, but it's worth the craft. It's worth the try. Get it done every other day. You'll have yourself a good opportunity at packing a blue. Once again, add that to your crafting list in the menus right now. One more SBC to add to your crafting list. Three big tier, big ticket upgrade packs yesterday. This is the biggest one with the most hype. The Leverkusen pack dropped, guys. Again, there are eight players only that are packable from this SBC. It's an 85 and an 87 with a team of the season required for this Bayer Leverkusen pack. And it looks like the weight's very high, as you would expect on the lower tier cards, right? You see Boniface yesterday went from 200,000 coins down to 150K because so many people were packing his card, right? Tap Solba, Jonathan Ta, very, very packable cards. I think Hinkapi as well dropped down a lot in price because... These kind of the lower tier ones, right? We're getting packed more. How much did he drop for him? He went from 140K down to 100,000 coins, right? Now on the flip side, this got a lot of people wanting Leverkusen links. Take a look at Grimaldo. Yesterday, Grimaldo was between 1.4, 1.4 middles. He was down to 137 after content and then exploded back up to 1.5. He's close to 1.5. Now I have to imagine that there was a little bit of extra hype for um, a couple of the players from Leverkusen to go out and buy links to them. It's just thinking about this pack, it's just crazy. It is just absolutely crazy that we have a pack out in this game right now that guarantees you team of the seasons from one team. And it says here, celebrate Leverkusen's undefeated streak. This is just so cool. Like, I really rate it. I think it's worth the craft, guys. I really think it is for the chance of a Verts, a Frempong, or a Grimaldo. Those are, of course, the top three cards you want to hit from this. And if you don't hit, it's fine, right? It's crafting uh, for basically a free price here. I know the menus are so craftable right now, we can call it free. Even though this SBC is coming in on Footbin as an 83,000 coin SBC, it just has a factor of cool and different that we have not seen before in this game. So it's very craftable. Get it done. I have not seen many of these open, so I don't know how the weight is, but I can imagine it's weighted very low, like a lot of Jacques and Boniface and stuff, but it's worth the try, guys. Now, the last SBC from yesterday is the biggest W of them all, the TOTS Crafting Upgrade. We finally got a TOTS Crafting Upgrade, guys. 150 completions is what you have to turn in here. That's a lot of non-rare golds. It is 10 non-rares and one rare to complete this SBC, which in my opinion is a W value comparatively to what you get back 77 plus times five. This is the SBC to be doing right now, guys. I know the 82 plus player pick is out. You know, you can still trickle those in and out if you want. And it's eight non rares for this. Um, sorry, it's eight players, two rares, right? Eight golds, two rares for the 82 plus player pick. You turn in one less rare and two more commons and you have yourself this Tots crafting upgrade where you get five players back from it. I think with my non-rares and rares, I'm going into this because you're getting more rares out of it, which then you can put back into this or into the 82 plus player picks if you want with the exchange grind. A mix of this Tots crafting upgrade first and then rinsing into 82 plus picks with those non-rares, which are ever so plentiful with the daily gold upgrades and we, the exchanges. I think is the way to go right now in this game. So I'm putting my golds into this first, doing as many of these as possible because 115, or sorry, 115 over 19 days to get this done. You got to do a decent amount every single day to try to get the whole objective done. Because of course, the thing we love about a crafting upgrade SBC is the objective that is tied to it. And man, 
This gives some good packs. The final reward is an 83 times 20. But along the way, an 83 plus pick, 83 double, you get an 83 10 at 20 completions. You get an 80, what is it, an 85 or a TOTS guaranteed pack at 50 completions. So a third of the way through, you're getting a TOTS guaranteed pack cold. An 83 5 at 70, an 86 double, an 85 double. And then down here towards the end, you get a TOTS guarantee for another 50 completions at 100. 84 10, 84 5, 86 3. 8320, another TOTS guarantee at the very end. Really, really, really an awesome crafting upgrade SBC. I mean, guys, this is like this is all you can ask for and all you can want in a free objective crafting from the SBC, which again, you can get those players right now for free using the exchange grind, doing it into player picks, the daily gold upgrades, right? It is incredible. This has brought the hype back to the SBC crafting and it all kind of goes along with the La Liga Tots, I mean, feeling semi-packable, guys. I'm going to tell you this right now. I know a lot of people in yesterday's video were like, Nate, the La Liga pack weight sucks, right? I'm not getting any good blues out of this. When you look at the market and see the prices of these cards day over day, I know the store pack impacted this a lot, but these cards are there for the packing, guys. It feels a lot more like Premier League team this season after I'm seeing a lot of packs yesterday um, on X, on Twitter, people sending stuff through. Like, get crafting. This is the type of content that we were wanting, and we got it, right? We wanted something to craft for. We have a Yaya SBC. That's the bait. We have another SBC leak that is out, which would be definitely a big one to set your sights on and craft up over time. That's one of the things we were asking for, right? We were asking for a decent pack weight, which I think we have here with these La Liga team of the seasons, at least way better pack weight than the last two weeks and so many other upgrade packs to potentially pack these cards from it is insane right this is the w like the really for me the hype has been restored for team of the season i know that like oh nate don't forget what ea did last week oh i don't forget we're not forgetting 100 percent, right we're definitely not you know happy about that still and not letting it just be blown over by this good content but i think we also got to give credit where credit is due this is by far the best upgrade pack content that we have had uh the player sbc content it's good it's good but this is by far the best upgrade pack content of team of the season so far so props to ea on that one last thing we do have to cover of yesterday's content is the evolution section which is not going to take very long because we once again only had one evolution and it's just that simple old tots La Liga Tots Evo. And guys, these are not that amazing for me. This Cancelo is basically the gold Cancelo that I have in the club. I know a lot of people are looking to do this card. Yeah, he looks good. He goes 5'5". Five, five. He looks solid. 94 passing. Decent, right? Still high-low work rates because it's the gold version. Pinged pass, first touch, and um, rapid plus. I don't know. This Evo for me, I'm glad it's free because I'm not super excited about it unless you got... Um, one of the best players to put in it, or if you just want to evolve somebody for your Madrid team, like Mendy. Remember last week, Hakimi was popular for League One. Mendy's popular for La Liga for sure. Llorente fits, Militao fits, Rodrigo fits. And that's a nice looking Rodrigo for sure. This Morales might be one of the most cracked cards if you get his in form. You know, he can go to a 91 rated card. So there's not a whole lot to talk about there. We do need the Evos to pick it up a little bit, but man, the SBC content is making me say, you know what? The Evos are a little bit mid. That's okay, because the SBC stuff is so great. Now, let's talk a little bit more about these La Liga Tots card prices, because yesterday they were really good to trade with, right? I mentioned last night in the video that I bought two more Olgas. I sold them both. I sold them at really good prices. I also bought a Cancelo for 460 sold it for 537 and I bought two Lewandowskis. I bought uh, both of them under 1.7 million coins. I sold them at 197 and 1.93. Look at Lewandowski's price right now. I can just show you my transfer list because I bought some more. Lewandowski's my guy. I bought him for 1.27. Guys, I sold him for 1.9. Literally not even 24 hours ago. He's down 700k in, you know, that many hours. That is unbelievable. These prices have gotten absolutely I don't know what the word is. Destroyed, right? Valverde's 2.1. Ramos is 1.7. I sold this for 5.30. He's now 360K. Kamavinga was 600K plus. He's 400K. These prices have gone absolutely crazy downwards instead of upwards. I sold Rodrigo for 1.62. He's now 1.15. It is mad. And there's really a big reason behind this. It's not just the SBC content that is making these cards go down. 
it is because of the store packs. That's a big reason of it. Because guys, a lot of what we're looking at with the store pack situation here is a crazy, crazy store pack that a lot of people are opening with coins, hopefully, again, and I'm not promoting these in any way, shape, or form. Um, I will be opening a 650k pack, hopefully before Messi goes out of packs today, just for my chance at trying to pack Messi one last time. That is something that I have been wanting to do. We've saved up our coins. Obviously, I, I don't feel like I need to prove myself here as to why I'm opening this pack because we are doing it with coins as always. Um, but a lot of people yesterday in this game were opening this store pack with coins and it was destroying the market because think about it. That's a lot of people saying 650K of coins that I have down the drain, they're gone, gone forever, rip. And now all you have are the cards that you get out of this, which is, you know, some pretty crazy cards. I got, I'm not trying to promote these packs guys, but like this pack in the store yesterday that I got tweeted, like what in the frick is this dude? Like, not all of these packs are going to look like this, but that's a whole page of Team of the Season cards. That is pretty crazy. But that is from the 650k pack, and it's garnering a lot of hype, and that is draining coins from this market for sure. The 750k pack is out as well, which guarantees you tradable cards from the active Team of the Season squads. So, that is why prices are down. That's the number one reason, because so many coins are being taken from this market, and the market's being devalued. Because people are turning in tradable coins, they're going away for untradable fodder and uh, the TOTS players that are in these packs. So that's why the market is dropping so much, especially on the in-packs team of the seasons. But it's happening on the out-of-packs team of the seasons as well. We'll probably break that down a little bit more this weekend, depending on what comes today for content. But look at these La Liga TOTS cards, right? Jonathan David's down over 100k. Usman's 5.1. Taram was a million. He's 870. Um... Teo Hernandez, or sorry, Lucas Hernandez is down like 100K. Nuno Menge is 250,000 coins. These cards have gotten absolutely destroyed in price too. It's because the market's being devalued because of all of this content is draining coins. But on the same coin, the same token, it is great content, right? I will say this, right? I know I didn't lose coins yesterday, and I might today, man. I'm being risky here with these Lewandowski flips. He may not go back up uh, like he has done the past two days. Who knows? This guy's got a lot of demand. But also with the market dropping like it is, you never know. On a Sunday especially, he could go up, he could go down still. Um, whenever there's good content and it makes me lose coins or it makes you lose coins, I will always take the caveat of, we had great content, I'm super happy about that. And I would rather lose coins because of good content be, um, instead of losing coins because of like something else happened, like either an EA mistake or it was over-invested in whatever uh, type of situation we might be talking about. I always say this, I'm always okay with the market dropping and maybe me losing a few coins if it's because of good content, right? And that is exactly what is happening on this game, especially for the SBCs. So that's one thing I wanted to mention. Let's talk about fodder just for a quick second. It's that low tier business, right? Everybody's got 87 times 30, you know, packs and they're getting all the 87 plus fodder. That double 85 rating on one of the upgrade SBC, I forget which one it was, the 86 double, I think, had the double 85 gear um, requirement in there, and it's taking 85s up a thousand coins a piece. GGs if you invested into those. 86s are 6k a piece as well, but it's really the 87s and 88s they haven't moved much. They're up a little bit. 89s are actually 22k, which I don't understand because 90s are less than that. Um, 89s are more expensive than 91s. 21,000 coins for 91s and uh, 22 for an 89. So it makes a whole lot of sense. Not really, but that's kind of the state of fodder. 85s and 86s did the best. They're going to keep going up, I'd imagine, today with the content that we maybe get. So if you have those, I think you can hold on heading into this week. Because the content is good, there's going to be demand for the SBC fodder cards. Let's talk about today on Sunday, though, guys, and close this one out because there's more stuff coming today in the name of Tots Mixed League Number four, Messi, Alderweireld, Podolski, Busquets leaving packs and coming into packs are actually some pretty good looking cards. We maybe don't have as big of a name like a Messi or a Ronaldo to kind of headline this team, but Roberto Firmino, official card right here. First touch, finesse, incisive, give me 5-5. Five, five. And we could have ourselves a really, really sick Firmino card there. That is awesome. That's his official stats, dynamic image, and playstyle pluses. Really cold Firmino card there. I want to fly through these leaks really fast. We have Jude Bellingham. We're also getting Job Bellingham. Intercept, finesse, and pinged pass. 
That is a really, really nasty playstyle plus combination for Joe Bellingham there. It's really cool. Both of those guys will have Tots cards in packs. It's the brothers. Somerville is another EFL Tots coming soon. He's a Tots plus as well for the chemistry. Quick step Trivella. First touch with 99 pace. Official stats, 92 dribbled, 90 shooting and passing as well. That one's going to be one. Some people will be interested as well as Tavernier. Whipped pass jockey dead ball with 97 pace. And that's a disgusting looking card. You guys maybe remember Tavernier cards of old. He's had some really, really um, insane cards throughout the years with his stats on all of his items being insane. This one looks crazy too. Tots Plus, which is nice. Benucci, Super League Tots. This one looks to be a little bit more like fodder, but intercept, block, and ping pass are interesting. Last couple of leaks that we have. Guy Carriz, I think I'm saying his name correctly. This guy has been lighting up. Um, games this year 99 physical 94 shooting 97 pace with press proven rapid and power shot plus that's a really really crazy card obviously a celebration as well w dynamic and tots plus for the chemistry um, really easy to just go ahead and try i think he's going to end up being pretty expensive with his card stats and with the hype around him that could be a big card. And then Luke de Jong is the last leaked card here. Um, Aerial, Acrobatic, and Power Shot Plus. The Screams, Prosses. 95 Physical as well. Actually, his stats aren't that far off from Lewandowski as I look at him. But that is not Lewandowski. That is Luke de Jong. And those are the cards I would be expecting today. With Firmino probably being the big chase. And maybe the most expensive out of all those. So that seems pretty decent. One thing I do want to mention. These Tots Mixed League cards going out of packs. It's been a very, very good trend the past couple of weeks that the Tots Mixed League cards, the most popular ones, have done very well out of packs. This week, you maybe look at a Jamie Vardy, a Sergio Busquets. There's a lot of hype around this Toby Alderweireld. Some people are saying he is better than Hanschko from the Mixed League Tots number one. I think this Toby, if you see him at like 150, might be a good uh, buy. He didn't really drop off a lot yesterday. I think people are trying to invest in this card, and there's a lot of hype around him. Uh, but, you know, some of these like Jamie Vardy, Podolsky uh, would be another one as well that if you really, really want him, really want to try him, you could give him a purchase. He's 93 rated. You know, like this is just kind of an emotional card. I know we're going to have more emotional ones come out. Maybe not as many people will want to buy Podolsky after this last week. But I think Vardy for a 96 uh, shooting 33,000 coin striker with the name recognition of Jamie Vardy. Busquets kind of as well with his 99 passing stat. There's potential for those cards to rise out of packs today. Uh, they still could be low even into tomorrow if they don't have a big of a rise. I think a lot of people are investing though. That's the only thing I'm a little bit worried about. But that's kind of one investment you might want to look at right now. Kind of keep in the back of your mind for something today. Now let's talk about SBC content. And with as crazy of a day that we had yesterday, it can't get any crazier today, right? Well... Let's talk about that because we have the icon pick that is going away, right? They messed it up last week on Sunday. We'll see what happens today. Uh, I think the, the hero pick is going to come back though, guys, right? But maybe with the content for La Liga Tots being so good, and you, it's obvious now, guys, there's no question that they're upping the ante for La Liga team of the season. Can they bring this icon player pick back again? We don't want the hero player pick. I think I speak for all of us. If they drop the hero player pick, drop this icon player pick again with it. These have just been cheeks um, and they've just not been good. So at the very least, just refresh this one. But I honestly don't think that they will because, you know, the plan, the schedule they've been going on, it would be hero pick next. So watch out for this going away. See if the hero pick refreshes it. But this could also be a week where they have both a hero and an icon out, maybe. That'd be a lot of upgrade packs and a lot of craziness. But speaking of icons, we have a leak for an icon that I think a lot of people would actually feel okay putting some crafting into, putting some grinding into of the menus to get a player that it actually would feel worth crafting for as an icon SBC. Guys, it was leaked just a couple of hours ago by FIFA Trading Romania. I guess it was around the content time. It wasn't a couple hours ago. Stoichkov is coming as an SBC soon and this makes sense right because Stoichkov played for Barcelona um you know a lot of people remember him for playing there he's got technical and first touch plus but look at those stats the fact that he's five star five star he's always cracked in game he can play striker center forward right or left wing very very versatile for those positions this card is I haven't used Stoichkov this year but this is a guy that I always look for as an icon and know that he's going to be absolutely cracked and I you know, always want to try his card out every single year. A 5-5 version of him. 
only with two playstyle pluses, he's still going to be so cracked, guys. So if you haven't done R9 yet, I even tweeted out last week. I was like, who would you rather do, Stoichkov or R9, you know? And of course, that's the next SBC we get. I promise. I did not know that he was coming. That was just a guess because this is the type of SBC player that you would want to craft towards right now. He's 2.1 million or 2 million coins on the market. I'm sure his price is down after the leak. I hope this SBC comes in just under 2 million coins, especially with the craftability of this game right now. We hope for that. Now, the one thing I will mention with fodder is if this guy gets an, a 2 million coin SBC, fodder on the top tier is so low, it's it's gonna it's bound to make squads in this SBC be really high rated. Probably multiple 92 rated squads when we're talking about a 2 million coin SBC, unless they're going to make it just like a crazy number of squads. But, um, you know, I would honestly say watch your 94s uh, and 93s. I'm not going to tell you to invest, but I'm just saying there could be maybe a little bit of a pickup if the Stoichkov SBC is good value. I could see some of those going up because I think if you look at SBCs right now, let's go to Icon SBCs and let's click on R9. I want to see what the 92 rated squads are and how they're getting done and what ratings of players are being used in here. Boom, we'll see this cheapest squad according to Footbin is using a lot of 93 rated cards, as you can see right here, right? One, two, three, four, five, five 93s. So if you think Stoichkov is going to be good value, I know a lot of people have 93 rated TOTS cards, but they're like 29, 30,000 coins. 92s are still 25 to 27k so i think 93s would be the best look as a potential buy you could have these a few of these cards going up a little bit so that's kind of like a risky investment but it's a possible one because i think a storagekov 55 like this would be an sbc people would like to chase even with only two play style pluses he's going to be cracked in game because he's 55 with those stats He's storage cob, right? So that's one thing. I don't know if it's today. That's the only last question. We don't know. Uh, but at this rate, it very well could be with how insane this content is going and the pace at which EA are moving at. And your boy needs to get the pace up too and start moving a little quicker too on these exchanges and getting to crafting in the upgrades because I did not play this game at all yesterday. And uh, it, it shows, right? 121 tots still pulled. We got to get moving because we have a lot of crafting to do this week i don't know if i'm streaming today guys i'm not going to be able to get to that i don't believe um, unless it's a late stream but uh not around content per usual at the very latest we'll see you on monday and we'll see you in a video tomorrow best of luck on crafting in the menus hopefully today is a content banger and good luck packing the big boy team of the season cards if you enjoyed this video today drop a thumbs up on a comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in a video tomorrow it's my nathan account see you there peace out